Rendering in Blender can be tricky for beginners, because once you're done crafting your scene, you will run to the settings, and the only thing you know is hiking up the samples, which is a wrong move. Then you're wondering why the render time is in days, while the result is not that of a high quality. Not like this, which is what we want. A sharp, detailed image render. See if I go to this scene with the default render settings and try to render it with more than 4,000 samples to see the time and quality of the image. The best way is to use the control B select region to pick a small area for a test render. And for the first time when hitting render, the compute time might go for a while. So I will skip the first render when comparing the time it takes to render this small area with that many samples. So this two minutes and one second time is not the real time it will take, cause if we re-render again, it will finish around a minute and 25 seconds, which is insane seeing the trash result we got. So what can we do to get a high quality image? Well, first of all, whatever render samples you think you need, divide that by five or even 10, cause the most important thing in render is the image size or the resolution and it's HD by default, which is nice for still image, but once you zoom in, it will go blurry, and that's cause. No matter how many samples Blender shoot on this small area in the back, the returning light won't give you much information since there's not enough space to sample from, so we need to expand that. Try to go with 4K as a start from the already available presets, or leave it at the default 1920 by 1080 and multiply the percentage under that with 400, 600, or even 800 if you need that. Now, if we render the small part with 400 samples and 400%, the result will be much higher in quality while cutting down the render time. We got this with 59 seconds compared to the last render, which was a minute 25 seconds. Still, the result is not the sharpest. So let's try dropping the samples even more while doubling the size to 800%. Sound crazy, but we're just managing the time and quality, so why not? Spiking the size up did increase the render time by four seconds, but the quality is far better for a back wall. All the details are here. So what's left is an optional. If you wanna drop the time more, cause in default, we have the noise threshold set to 0 0.01 value. And the smaller the value, the longer it needs to render noise-free images, so you can make it bigger by doubling it. Some might go with a 0.5 value for the threshold. The time cut will be generous, but I don't recommend that. In architecture visualization, a big value can generate dark spots, so unless you're really struggling with the render time, just leave it on default. An extra 10 minutes isn't a big deal for getting a sharp image. And that's it. Hope you can get fine renders from now on. Like the video to share the joy. And until next time, stay sharp. Goodbye.